For some unknown reason, the quality of today's cameras are highly judged by its IAF. Guys, welcome to my studio. My name is Vitaly. Thank you for stopping by. And this video is actually inspired by one of my subscribers or one of my viewers. And it goes by name um, Abby from Joy Studios. And Abby asks, do you have any issues focusing with focusing doing receptions and sparkler exits with the Z62? because previously I've done a number of videos on the Z6 II. However, and I provided a response to Abby, and Abby hopefully was sufficient, but that inspired me to make another video and take a closer look to see how Z9 performs in a low light conditions. All right, guys, so this is not gonna be a very long video, but I simply wanna demonstrate, and honestly, for my personal use, understand how the Z9 operates in the low light conditions. So now, what right now we're seeing is very clean HDMI output. Now, right now, what you're seeing is was considered considered to be at dirty HDMI output, where you can see all the camera specs right now on the ground, including the white little box that moves along with my eye just trying to follow and track me. Now the camera settings that I have on the Z9 right now I'm shooting in the flat profile at 4k full frame 10-bit H265 if this is important to you. Now I'm gonna make a little bit of a fool of myself here and just try to demonstrate what the IAF looks like in uh, kind of this kind of environment. I'm gonna try to move back a little bit. As you can see, it's following me all the way to the edges of the frame. Now I'm gonna make a real fool of myself. So guys, as from this little demonstration, you can clearly see that um, IAF on Nikon Z9 is absolutely spectacular. Now, let me really bring the low light conditions very, very low and see what happens next. First, I'm gonna try to turn off this light actually in front of me. And as you can see, even now, the camera tracks me, my head, and as well, my eye pretty, pretty well. I guess when I have a little bit of a light, it probably helps a little bit more, but here we go, right? I mean, it's tracking me in a low light. It's fairly dim in this environment. I only have these two lights, one behind me on this side and also one behind me on that side. So let me turn off this Edison bulb, and as you can see, the camera tracks me fairly, fairly well. Okay, now let's see what happens once I turn this light off. Okay, so this is the point where you can see pretty much, I mean, it's, it's completely pitch black here. I can't see anything for the most part. So yeah, I mean, let's turn the little light back on and see if it helps a little bit with improving my IAF. As soon as I can turn a little bit of light behind me, it really picks up my eye super, super well. All right, guys, if you thought this was crazy, I mean, be able to follow my eye on pretty much when it's completely 
dark in here? You haven't seen crazy yet. What you've been observing so far, this was for the video settings. Now, obviously, many, many of you buy a camera Z9 for photography, not video. So let's take a look to see how actually camera focuses in no light conditions with a Z9 in photo mode. Okay, so right now camera is switched to photo mode. As you can see, basically all the information on the screen right now, I am shooting and again, full, fra full frame. I have a flat profile picked on my camera. I have a human IAF as well as identified on it. So let's see how it actually it follows in the photo conditions. All right, let's try to turn off one light off. It still follows me pretty well. Let's turn the main light off. Okay, as you can see, camera is following my eye pretty well as well. And let's turn the backlight off and it's completely dark. All right, as you can see, it's pretty understandable. Camera sees absolutely no data at this point. Let me turn the backlight on. Well, actually, let, let me just do the front light for a second. So camera identifies my eyes pretty quickly. Now let me show you now what crazy is. Crazy is when there's completely dark but camera still can find my eye. And I don't know what happens here, okay? So Z9 has this very special mode. It's called, it's called starlight. And under the starlight mode, something happens with the sensor. I still don't know. If you guys know anything, please put it in the uh, uh, comments below. If you understand what happens, it's what's happening with the camera. But let's take a look at this. I am gonna flip this starlight under my function two. As you can see, it kind of illuminated the whole sensor, but you can also see right over here, there's this little, oh, I can't even move my hand, little star symbol appears, okay? Now watch what happens when I turn lights completely off. Now all of a sudden sensor has this crazy flash happens and it's completely black in here. There are no lights, absolutely. And camera is still following my eye, okay? so. Guys, I don't know what other camera on the market that does this, but now you have this star mode right over here that absolutely illuminates the entire room behind me, okay? And it follows my eyes. I will hide, I will come up, camera will find me, I will disappear from the screen, and I'll come back again, and camera finds my eye. So. This is absolutely crazy condition for the Z9 or any other cameras. If you guys are aware of any other cameras that does this, please put it in the description below. This is an insane Nikon Z9 capability. And now there you have it. My initial inspiration to check out the Z9 capability in low, in low light conditions came from obviously a question that was asked by Abby about the Z6 II. And Z6 II is a phenomenal camera. Yes, it's uh, uh, one of the first ones when it comes to the mirrorless by Nikon. Uh, this is actually the second version of the uh, Z6. This is a Z6 II but the Z9 is an absolute beast. Now, what does that mean moving forward? I think it is an incredible, incredible feature for camera of this price, of this caliber, because in the next year or two, we can have a number of other Nikon mirrorless cameras coming out on the market. Maybe it's gonna be Z6 III, maybe it's a Z8, or maybe it's a baby to Z9 in a, a DX crop sensor mode as a Z90. There are a lot of speculations, a lot of rumors out there, but we will see. But I highly, highly anticipate that this feature of a low light conditions and capability that Z9 provides to us will be available in other cameras. Guys, I hope you found this content 
educational and entertaining. For more content like this, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button so that I can make more videos for viewers like you. Thank you.